Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swindentown Swoodley Poopers who just lost heartbreakingly yesterday to Arsenal. I can't. I'm going to be honest with you. In the clubhouse afterwards, there was a lot of anger. Ginger Rampage was angry at himself for his rush of blood that led to his tackle from behind. He's suspended for today's game. Hayden Pennyfeather's our referee. Uh, there was a lot of anger at the ref um, because... It was a really bad call in the 90th minute on a totally clean tackle by, I think, one size fits all. Um, that led to, you know, we had a great comeback. We switched to the 4-3-3. We had a great comeback. It was just a great, you know, one size fits all was, was devastated. The guys had a tough season. And, he, I mean, I don't want to talk out of school or anything. And I don't, I certainly don't like humiliating my players. But, like, you know, the guy's in tears. Like, this is, this is, this, this team means everything to him. And, and, you know, it's just when you get a, t a bad call like that, it's just hard not to take it, really take it to heart. And, I, you know, I just try to remind the guys that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a long season and, and some calls are going to go our way um, and some calls aren't. And, and you know, hope you just got to hope that it evens out over the course of the season. Maybe we're going to get a penalty at a vital moment that's going to allow us to finish in the top four. You know, we don't know how, how the rest of the season is going to go. So we just got to have faith that um, – that it, it's going to work out, but it, it, there's no question that it was pretty devastating to, to the club. And, um, you know, I, I, Ginger Rampage feels really bad. He, he wanted me to apologize to you guys. Um, you know, he's always, look, this is his nature that, that he has, um, you know, that he has these anger issues and he's not, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of what makes him a great player. Um, but certainly, you know, it also can can be really problematic for for our team, and he knows that. And um, so he's he's going to work on it. That's all. That's all I can say. So I apologize, but but please know that we're um, uh, you know, no, the, the, you know, the, the, I I know I know I know that to uh, the the performance of the club matters a lot to the supporters. But you got to believe me that it also matters a lot to me and and to um, and to the players. So I'm sorry. Uh, and we're, we're going to try to win this game against QPR. Uh, we should win it. And we're, we're going to try our best to. We, we really need three points. We need to get right back on the right track. Today I'm going to talk about character development, um, which I've kind of been doing for the last 15 minutes, uh, talking about how you develop characters and, and how you make, make people who aren't real seem real and feel, feel real um, to you and, and to others. In some ways it's easier to make people feel real uh, to yourself when you're constructing them than it is to make other people feel uh to make other people feel like they're real and um because it, most of us at least have been in the business of of making up people uh as long as as long as we've like had you know like conscious as long as we've had consciousness um i know i have anyway it's gotta be and it is ball john green bringing back the team he's the heart and the guts of our team he may not be the best player but he is he oh he is the heart that beats Inside of our club, you can hear it right now, that thump, 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 thump. That is ball John Green's heart. Look at that great finish. And he is saying, we will forget yesterday's game. We will forget the tragedy that was a game in which we went down to 10 men, came back from 2-0 down, and then got a bull crap penalty in the 90th minute to lose. We will forget that, and we will play with heart and courage, and we will play swoodly pooper football. Um, and that's, I, I just admire him. Um, so the question is, how do I get you to care about bald John Green, even though he's not a real person? Or some people would say he's not a real person. I would say he is. D. McGoldrock! So oh, we almost found the perfect bed. All right. Oh, that's a good line. I'm going to use that in the future for when he almost scores. Um, so the business of getting, getting, getting people to care about characters, it begins with getting you to care about a character. But please remember that that is the smaller... Oh, D. McGoldrylocks, that is the smaller of the two jobs. Um, the, the bigger of the two jobs is getting someone else to care about that character, right? Because, uh, like, we've all had imaginary friends or, or, or conversations with, with people who, who, aren't, who, maybe, who maybe are real people but aren't actually aware of that we're having a conversation with them or whatever. Um, we're, we're always engaging in that imaginative play from very early on in our lives. D. McGoldrylocks, D. McGoldrylocks, D. McGoldrylocks. Oh, almost. Um, the ball just disappeared worrisomely. Well, it's back. Um... So we're always we're always doing that, um, and so we're ready to sort of believe in our own characters in a way that it's it's harder to to believe in other people's characters. So yes, it is important to 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 make sure that you believe in your characters. 
Um, and I want you to be, you know, whenever you're cr constructing characters, you have to believe in their reality and you have to hear their voice in a way that's, that's, that's real and distinct and, um, you know, like a lot of people ask me, like, what was it like writing from the perspective of a girl in The Fault in Our Stars? And I, I always say this, but it's true. I didn't feel like I was writing from the perspective of a girl. I felt like I was writing from the pers perspective of Hazel. And I never thought about, um, you know, I never thought about, like, oh, this is a girl. Um, I, I thought, oh, this is, you know, this is Hazel. This is, um, you know, this is this character I, I, I think about and care about. Um, and that that's very different um, from, from sort of, merely thinking about you know the abstract idea of, of a girl um so when it when it when it comes to when, when i'm thinking about characters i like to think about you know what it what what matters to this person uh what do they want and how am i going to go about explaining what they want and um one of the things that i i would say is that it, it's really common in like when people are telling you like how to how to like people are learning you how to teach how to write characters or create characters for television or whatever it is that they need a motivation and that it needs to be a clear motivation i think that's true but i also think that you have to acknowledge the reality of human experience which is that motivations aren't actually clear usually motivation is extremely complicated um and and uh, and 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 it's the the best kind of characters for me are the characters who reflect that. Like if you look, like what does Holden Caulfield want? Um, well, what Holden Caulfield wants turns out to be really interesting and complicated, right? Because it's not. Oh, it's got to be. No, it isn't. It, it uh, what Holden Caulfield actually wants is, um, you know, he wants an adult. He wants, well, really any person, an adult, a teenager, anyone, uh, to acknowledge him and to acknowledge the sort of the seriousness of the situation in, in which he finds himself. The seriousness, the reality, the importance of his his uh, pain, even though, you know, like all of his, his problems are very much like, you know, rich New York prep school kid problems, that they are still real and that they are important is that's that's what he wants. Like that's what he wants to that's that's what he needs is he needs. And, and then secondarily, he needs someone to, to tell him that like or, or to, to, to listen to him as he's saying, you know, I'm scared. I'm scared about becoming an adult. I'm scared about what happens to the ducks in, in the pond when the winter comes. And um, and and uh and and he never gets that, and the whole novel is is a search for that. But the the reason the reason he wants that is 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 complicated, and it's not it's not just it's not just one thing. And the places and he looks for it in many different places, and 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 is disappointed in very very different ways by very different um, you know kinds of people and and by kinds of interactions. So sometimes he's disappointed sexually, and other times he's he's disappointed um, you know religiously in the in the case of his conversation with the nun and um so it, there are all kinds of ways in which in which holden is 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 you know all kinds of barriers i guess to him getting what he wants um and and then the final saddest barrier is that is that he goes he goes to the person he's always he's always trusted and, and the guy um you know sort of arguably could ambiguously um abuses him essentially um, you know, for his, for his innocence, for his, uh, you know, and, and that, that, you know, and that, that, that's scary and, and hurtful to hold. And, um, and, and that, uh, so, so all, all of that factors in, into his, his character. Um, but when you're thinking about him as a character, you can't just be thinking, oh, he wants this simple thing and here are all the ways that he's not going to get it. You have to think, um, of him as, as you would any other person, as you would imagine as, as, with the complexity that, that, Oh boy, that was a hell of a goal. Oh, it's frustrating. There was just nothing I could do about that. It just it just burst from the sky like a supernova. It's very frustrating. It's a very frustrating thing to see. That that's annoying and I'm annoyed and I'm in a now I'm in a bad mood. And I don't like being in a I like to be happy. I want to be celebrating with my team, not angry with my team. Oh, Schmergerberg. Perry Perry's coming into the game. He's a platypus. Sometimes he helps out. 1-1 um, one, one is not an acceptable scoreline for this game because we've had like 11 shots on goal. So it's frustrating. We really we need, we need other John Green to come in and, and do, what he, do what he so often has done in the past, which is bring, bring life to this club um, and, and goals. Here's his big first chance. It's a far post. Everything was right about it except for the finish. 
Oh, ha, ha, ha. wow. That's devastating. Um, so when I'm thinking about characters, I mean, you know, like if you look at a character like Hazel Grace Lancaster, obviously, um, you know, Hazel has a pretty, pretty obvious problem, which is that she's she's dying of cancer um, and she's she's been dying. But she's also been dying of cancer for a long time. So I wanted her to be in this weird in between space of of, you know, she's she's dying, but she's also, you know, not not dying with the sort of immediacy with which we usually associate dying. Um, and, uh, but she, that, that, that isn't actually, um, her problem. Her problem is that she can't figure out, um, kind of what, what the point of life is and, and how, how best or most heroically to live it. Um, well that, in my opinion, at least is a really interesting problem. And so once, once she had the interesting problem, um, you know, her, her, that sort of shaped her responses to her um, to her disease and to her peers and to everything else. That's what you know. People talk about you know like she's she's. I wanted her to be sarcastic and funny, but the reason I wanted her to be sarcastic and funny is that it seemed consistent with with the particular problem that that she had um, of of not having a good way to, to look into the world and find much hope in it, um, and certainly not being able to find much hope in, in social interactions. Um, and that, you know, that was really, that was what, you know, that's her character, essentially. There's no, you know, there's, I guess there's a little bit, there's a little bit more to it, but that's, that's most of what it is. And, um, and, and that, you know, that's the starting pl place for her character. It's also, you know, in a lot of important ways, the finishing place. Uh, oh, you just stone cold Steve with a C Austin. Put the freaking ball. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We got a chance here. It's a good looking corner. Everything was right except for the finish. Oh my gosh. Is it going to be another 1-1 one, one draw? Is this the new standard Swoodley Pooper score? Disappointed in my club. I don't know why you guys are congratulating each other. I'm not happy for you. You're going to get in that locker room and you're going to get a talking to and possibly a spanking. Verbal spanking. Best wishes. Yeah, you should. No, no, yeah. I want you guys to talk it out. Yes. Okay, that's better to see. A little bit, a little bit of frustration at least. Because we need to be winning these games. All right, now best wishes. 